Hey friends, it's Jem with Chaffee Plans. Thanks for joining me for this Hobonichi Weeks video. If you'd like to see what I'm going to do, stick around. What's up friends, it's Jem with Chaffee Plans. I decided to do something different today. As you can see, I have a sticker book and some watercolor that I've not even used and I've had for a very long time. And I'm inspired by this sticker book I recently purchased from Amy Tangerine, and it's amazing. I did a flip through in a flip through Friday video a few weeks ago. This is my Hobonichi Weeks. Last month was crazy, and I did not get to share with you a plan with me video. So I thought I would make it up to you and try something completely outside the box. And I'm going to set up November's monthly and the first week of November, which... Well, it's technically, it's like the last week of October going into the first week of November. Um, and I thought I would just do some fun, like kind of creative journaling, if you will, um, as the decoration portion of it. So I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to like just use stickers and my water brush pen and some watercolors and just kind of see what happens. Maybe pull in some washi. Um, because this is something I've never done and I don't want to just like sit here it's hard to like talk with you and create at the same time when it's something that I've not done before. Um, and if you've ever tried to film yourself doing something like this and talking to the camera and trying to maintain a captive audience, then you would totally understand. But if you haven't, um, maybe try to picture that because it's kind of tricky. So I figured to, to kind of like help us both out, I'm going to continue filming and then do like a voiceover and kind of explain to you what's happening if I feel like, you know, I should, or maybe I'll just put it to music, um, or maybe I'll do a little bit of both. We'll just see how long the video ends up being, but that way I can speed up the process of this video so that it's not like 800 hours because it will take much longer, I'm sure, to actually create it than, um, you want to sit here and watch it for. So I'll speed it up like I do if you've ever seen my Project Life videos or scrapbook videos, do a voiceover and kind of like come back at the end and talk about it. So I'm just going to start playing and see what happens. Let's go, let's go. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I am completely like just going to start putting color down on the paper. I've never even tried to watercolor on Tomoy River paper. So it's not like I have experience or <laughs> practice. I just, you know, decided to go for it. Why not? So that's what I'm doing. Um, I realized that the color really likes to um, sit on top of the paper before it absorbs, which is interesting. I really enjoy painting with watercolors I just it's not something I do on a regular basis so I was very um pleasantly surprised and totally like zenned out and just started to make marks with my brush which is what Amy Tangerine says to do just you know make your marks you don't um have to know what you're doing to have fun and I certainly don't and I'm certainly not an expert clearly um so Rather than make the mistake of, um, repeated mistake of what I just did, where I tried to sop up some of the uh, moisture with a paper towel, which then removes the ink, I later will learn my lesson and take out my um, heat tool, which is from American Crafts, and use it to kind of help me dry the watercolor quicker um, so I can keep working. I end up creating this monthly spread and then like going and having dinner and running some... I don't know if I ran errands or I took care. I was doing something and then um, I was able to come back and it was dry. But when I'm working on the weekly spread, you'll see me pull out the heat tool because I just didn't have the time to wait and it worked just fine. Um, I personally was concerned about bleed through and the water being on this paper because it's so thin, but it's like magic. Okay, like when you put it down, yes, it's wet, but when it dries, it it's amazing and it does not bleed through. It doesn't, you know, make any make it hard to write or anything. So I am completely here for this. Um, right now, I have the video sped up to three times the normal speed because otherwise, like I said, this video would be so long. But I just love rainbow vibes and just working in color. So I'm just going to keep going back into the palette and adding more and more uh, color to the brush as I go down. So starting with like red and moving all the way down to like blue and purple. So hopefully that makes sense. 
there's really, like I said, no rhyme or reason to it. I'm just kind of making marks and having fun. And like where the big blob is that I created right there, that's like yellow, orange, and red, that is where I would have probably put like a large sticker or something. Um, and then on the weekends, I don't exercise usually unless like, you know, I'm making up for a day that I missed. Um, but when I go to fill this out, I won't really need the weekend space. So that's why I added the marks down the right side under Sunday. And then I created a couple more little um, color blobs on the bottom, one in each corner. So one's got more of a bluish green shade and then the other one has um, more yellowish blue, if that makes sense. And it's out of frame, so I apologize. I was trying to... Yeah, I was really trying to make it work. Um, like, you can't see the bottom of this planner just yet, but you will see it all at once when I kind of go back and revisit. Um, what I'm probably going to do is, yeah, I'll talk you through it. So basically, I'm trying all the clear stickers, and I want to see if they will work on the spread. Uh, what I was noticing with the clear stickers, which, by the way, are an insanely good quality, um, is that when I put them like like colors over the watercolor, it kind of ate up the sticker and you couldn't really see the sticker. So I want to make sure that what I'm putting down on top of the watercolor layer is visible. Um, otherwise, it kind of defeats the purpose of having the sticker, right? So the work in progress one, I thought I was going to put it up with the red, orange, and yellow at the top, but it blended in so much that you couldn't even see the faux watercolor splash um, behind the quote that is in Amy Tangerine's lettering. Right now, I'm just going through my sticker book, and I'm basically looking for stickers that are speaking to me about kind of the vibes for November. So November is Nora's birthday month, and so I wanted to do, I knew I wanted to do like bright, fun, rainbow vibes because that's her personality. Um, but I chose quotes that made sense. So that one says fun on top of that green swatch there. And then the work in progress, that was for me and for her. The work in progress is applicable because obviously this is a wellness tracker. I use the monthly view to record how long my workouts are, how many calories I burned, and what muscle groups I'm focusing on for the day um, because I do lift weights. So that's what I put on each day. Um, so the work in progress applies to that, but it also applies to the fact that Nora is growing and she's, you know, in therapy now and navigating, you know, those preteen years. And so I think that that quote makes sense as well. I had to put in this cupcake because of her birthday, even though she doesn't really eat cupcakes because she has celiac disease unless they're gluten free, but they're really honestly never good. We have yet to find one that's like delicious. Um, she'd rather have like candy. But I also chose that black and white doodle with the candle and put it on the weekend where her birthday, um, right after her birthday. And um, now I'm just going to look through and see if I can find anything else that makes sense. Again, I apologize for being out of frame, but you will see it. There it is. I put the red and orange sticker on the top right. And then this love is brave and wild was on top of where I added some washi. I ripped up one of the um, wonky grid washies that's from Robin's Planning Nest and I believe it's still available it's just robinsplanningnest.com and then I forget if that eye washi is a Amy Tangerine washi if it is it's very old um I I honestly can't remember where I got it from um so I am using my uh uni pen in a 0.38 to put in the dates and then my Tombow Fudunosuke for the sleep log. Then I'm just going to go and add a whole bunch of doodles all over the place. This is something I've always done when I'm doodling. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen my old like Archer and Olive creative journaling. There's a couple videos on my channel, not many. It's not something I film um, or honestly have like the luxury of doing on a regular basis. I wish I did, but there's just not enough hours in the day. Um, and you know, I have to mom. So, <laughs> uh, I'd love to just play with paint and mixed media, but I just don't have the time right now and that's okay. So, um, anyhow, that is something I like to do. I like to add doodles to my like black and white gesture drawings or just like line drawings. If I decide to do some, I think it adds a little something. Um, 
I also have a bullet journal playlist when I was in my Archer and Olive bullet journal for a while. And um, typically I would doodle lots of things each, like for the monthly view and add these little like sparkles and dots. So anyhow, now I am deciding, should I write in the weeks? And I do it and I hate it. So <laughs> just a spoiler alert, it does not look good. I don't, I, I, I hate it, hate it, hate it, but it is what it is. And we're just going to go with it at this point. Um, it's a uni, again, it's a uni one gel pen. And this one is a much thicker nib. I think it's like 0.7. I got it at Target for when we were back to school shopping to try them out. And I really like it. It's very thick. Um, the pen itself is a little chubby for my taste, um, the barrel, but it writes really smooth and really nice. So I wrote in like, I knew I was going to be finishing this Lift More program. And so I wrote it in with like stretched out, like kind of cursive, I guess. It It's supposed to look messy, but it just, I think it's so distracting and it does not add anything to the spread but whatever it is what it is <laughs> so here's a close-up of the finished monthly spread and now I'm going to move on to the week okay so the weekly is where I track habits and my meals and the specific exercises that I'm going to do for the muscle groups that I'm working out so like let's say Monday is um, biceps and chest day uh, all those exercises will individually be listed on the left with the weights that I use for each exercise. And that is because I need to track my weight progression. I want to see, I don't need to, but I want to see if I'm lifting heavier over the weeks or where I'm at in relation to like my uh, measurements and my weight and all that kind of stuff and my health, overall health. So, um, and then on the right of that like line I drew right down the middle of the horizontal um, dates will be all of the things that I eat throughout the day. I list those over there. And so most of that just stays blank because that's where I do the majority of my writing every day. Now I'm just using my watercolor brush pen again, again, doing the rainbow um, vibes to create what I usually do with my mild liner, which is just like add some color to the page and then write the label over the top of it based on each category. So that top red one is going to be for my daily habits. And then I'm gonna, um, that like yellow bar is going to be, I think my reading log. The green in the middle is my highs and lows for the week. And then the sort of jade greenish blue color is going to be for my sleep, I think. I think. Maybe maybe I said that backwards. I'm not sure. Um, and then I just added that rainbow on the bottom right to take up space. Normally, again, I would put a sticker there. Um, and then this was just the like adding color to the days of the week on the left was just for fun. And then I decided just to add some more blobs of color and kind of build off that. So think of this, like the paint as like my base layer. Um, if you're familiar with, according to Allie's alcohol inks, which are one of my absolute favorite stickers she creates, you can use those to layer and it looks like you used ink right on the page. So um, that's kind of what I'm doing when I'm making these blobs of color is like thinking of it as the base and then I'm going to layer on top of it. So you can see I'm using my heat tool to dry the um, watercolor quicker so that I can then go and write. Which again, I'm going to go back to that um, Uni Mitsubishi in a 0.38 to add my lines so they make like a little closed in border. And then I use my Funasuke hard tip brush pen to label all of the headings. So weekly habits and then days of the week there, reading log. weekly highs and lows, and then sleep. Yeah, I was right. Look at me go, remembering things short term. I typically, my short term memory is absolutely awful, so I'm surprised that I remembered that, even though I am doing the voiceover the day after I created these pages, but that's fine. <laughs> so then I just make all of the little tables here. So the things I track on a daily basis, just for funsies, is to see if I exercise, drank my water, which for me is 64 ounces, um, didn't eat snacks after like, you know, eight o'clock or so, um, 
posted to my Instagram stories, read, and journaled. Um, and then I also like to track if I'm reading, which I have not read in weeks and weeks on a regular basis. I've been reading the same book for almost, yeah, over two months now. So, you know, that's great because um, that's the season that I'm in and that's okay. And then my weekly high and low and then my sleep log. These things are very important to me and that's what I love about the Hobonichi Weeks is this grid side of the page you can literally use for whatever you want. So you could be tracking, you know, if you're taking your meds, if you get migraines. Um, I actually do track migraines in the yearly view at the very front of the planner. Um, you could track... Um, like if you have certain symptoms for chronic illnesses, um, you could do your meal planning, you could, uh, put some workouts, like specific workouts you're doing over there. You could just use it to decorate. You could just write quotes that are meaningful to you. There's so many different ways you can use the Hobonichi Weeks. So I love the versatility of it. I was actually contemplating switching up already, even though I haven't done anything for 2025, using my Laurel Denise Mini for my um, wellness planner and leaving it at home because it stays at home. And then using my Paddington Weeks planner for on the go because it would fit better in my purse. I'm still leaning that way, but I'm not sure how I would make it work. So I kind of have to play around with that. I would love to know what you think though. Like, do you think that's a good idea? What are your thoughts? If you've used the Laurel Denise Vertical planner it's a mini planner so it's very tiny um I just feel like it might do better being at home because it does have that very fragile coil however I did purchase the like um portfolio cover for it so I mean it'll be kept safe in there but then it's going to be kind of big to carry around even though I do carry a very large purse um when I go to work but Anyhow, these are just things I'm thinking about. Uh, do, verbal processing with you all as I look for stickers to layer over the washi that I just put down. So you can see, speaking of the layers, it was like a layer of paint and then a couple of layers of washi and then some stickers. So I put a bunch of quotes and then I'll add a few decor stickers and that's probably going to wrap it up. Um, I was going to say something that I just completely forgot about. Oh, I know. When this video goes up, it will be time to, it'll be getting close to the new Laurel Denise launch, which officially will be the 30th at 12 p.m. Eastern time. And this is the accessories release. So I cannot wait to share with you my goodies that I'm going to get. They are so much fun. So definitely, if you're not following me, on Instagram or subscribed here, make sure you do those things because I do share um, very exciting hauls, unboxings, you know, planner videos, scrapbook videos, uh, apparently now sometimes creative journaling videos. Who knows what this channel is going to bring in 2025. So make sure you are subscribed and have that bell clicked on so you don't miss anything that I share. Um, but you can use Gen 10 if you do shop anything from either, according to Allie or Laurel Denise. I have the same discount code and it saves you 10%. So, and it does kick back a little bit to me and helps me keep creating and sharing things on the channel. So I greatly appreciate you. So I'm just wrapping it up by adding those sparkles here and there after I added some of the black and white lined artwork, which I love. And then that other rainbow on the top left and then I'm going to um, switch over to real time and chat with you about um, my thoughts and feelings about this. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. Okay, this took like way longer than I thought, but it was so fun. I didn't even like imagine that I had spent like over an hour doing this and that's 100% fine. Like I zoned out. I didn't even listen to music or watch anything. I just sat and created just for the fun of it. And I did like make mistakes, but it's fine. Like I had so much fun creating these pages.
this looks like a hot mess but it's fine it is what it is like do I regret doing this sure is it gonna ruin it for me absolutely not like I, these pages it's all in the making for me and I honestly loved doing this so here is a close-up of the finished week and then the month of November so yeah I definitely wish I did not do this but live and learn um <laughs> that's gonna be it for me I would love to know your thoughts and if you use a hope in two weeks how you use yours thank you guys so much for watching please do me a favor and like this video if you did subscribe if you're not and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and p.s if I have these things um available to link in my Amazon storefront they will be there all right friends take care of yourselves and remember that you are enough Bye.